need for COVID-19 response and Dr. Mike Ryan, Director of Emergencies. I understand that uh, Dr. Tedros may leave at some point. Uh, um, so yesterday was the first day and it was, I wouldn't say it was weird. I, me and my family, we were watching the news and staying up to date to social media and realize how selfish a lot of people are, you know, going out to like, it's just going out and not just going out actually it's just being in a space where there's other people too and really not considering the the risk that they are in and the risk that other people are in because of you know the spreading of the virus and um so day two what have I done? I think this is like, what time is it? It is 8.01 a.m. Um, I did my morning prayer. I did a quick meditation and yoga outside. I feel really good. I plan to be a bit more productive and of course produce more content because we're not allowed to really go out or be in social events for the next two weeks. I think there's gonna be, I think it's going to be longer because a lot of people are you know have been really irresponsible and reckless but um we'll see where this goes and my aunt is outside i can't show you guys her because she's not wearing her job but anyway i'll check back in with you guys later skater who needs starbucks when we have a coffee maker so i don't like to drink my coffee straight up like black like this so apparently condensed milk is not made of dairy. I thought condensed milk is made out of cow's milk, but my aunt said otherwise. But it's called condensed milk. How does it have no milk? Baham behind. Gula. What is pepejal susu? Pepejal susu is susu yang dipejalkan. What is And then there's minyak kelapa sawit bertapis. Ah, see. Okay, fine. But there is susu, but it's okay. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? That's my uncle. My grandma's making my milk because she thinks I can't make my own coffee, which is very true. So we're gonna do some content, but before that we have to clean. We'll do this last. What's that? Yeah, That's crazy. Get back to cleaning. That's my aunt gonna get groceries. Stay safe. Bye. The brave one. So I decided to just take some Instagram content. And before that, we're gonna have to put on some makeup and whatnot. So here it is. I'm using the Epion's Daily Shield Tinted SPF 50. Oh wait, no. Before I start, I would like to wax my upper um, lip. Okay, found it! So we're gonna use one of these. So from looking like this, I'll turn to... Hello, I'm back again. I feel like I've been doing the same makeup look, but I feel like the natural makeup look is the easiest and the quickest. All right, so we're done. We're only gonna take like this half and up. So we just have to look for a location. This is our only location since we are self-quarantined. We just have to find out which angle we want to do. So let's do this, Nana. That's a good pose. Should I smile? I need Botox. Maybe, yeah. Uh, look wrinkly. Like that? 
throw it on. <laughs> oh yeah, put your head back and like let your hair flow. Hi guys, before I end this video, I thought I could just hop on um, to say goodbye. And well, currently today it's day three of the control movement order in Malaysia. And I realize that I'm so thankful and I'm just, I feel so lucky to be with my family going through this pandemic. Um, if I weren't here, if I was still in the US, I would probably be going through this alone. And yeah, so that's something to be grateful for, I believe. And it's really crazy that a week after I left the US, that's when COVID-19 got like super crazy. Like there's cases and everything like that. And it's more crazier that the clinic that I went to a couple of weeks ago, I went to on Monday, that Wednesday, somebody was infected and went to the clinic. And I, I thought that was just, I feel so protected and blessed. I thought I wanna share with you guys. I hope you guys are staying healthy, um, more aware of things. If you don't like the stats or you somehow don't believe in stats and data, at least learn about the symptoms, learn about the virus, learn about how it can affect you as a person and the people around you. I've been reading so many things. It's just like, we're not just going against stupid people and ignorance. It's also people who are selfish. I hope you guys are safe. I hope your families are safe too. You know, your loved ones. I'm definitely praying for you guys. I can't wait for everything to go back to normal so we can go out and hopefully appreciate life a little, bit, a little bit better and i also feel like instead of instead of just talking about how to deal with this virus what to do and what not to do we also somehow maybe not now maybe after this when everything has improved we need to talk about how to prevent viruses like this um we need to talk about the wildlife how that can affect human we need to talk about the ecosystem we need to talk about the planet earth and we need to talk anyway before i start rambling about social responsibility i'm gonna go now and i think we're gonna do a little bit of gardening i don't know if i'm gonna take any um footage but yeah i hope you guys are staying safe and responsible <sighs> take care guys